I had the boss having a wrong perception about Filipinas. He asked me immediately that how did I become an engineer where all the others are housemates. That's a sarcastic feedback from your future boss. Success is not determined from where you come from or what nationality you belong to. This is the journey of a Filipino lady who was once a food server at Jollibee. From earning one dirham an hour, she is now the CEO of a successful million-dollar company in UAE. I've been from a situation wherein I did not have money to buy a decent shoes, bag, a uniform, and also uh, I did not have money to pay for my tuition fee. And now. I am the group CEO of Prime Group. From having no money to pay for education to being a food server at Jollibee and then paving a path of success by becoming the CEO of Geoscience Testing Laboratory and prime group of companies that are the chief lab operators for testing the construction material for downtown Dubai, Burj Khalifa, Burj Al Arab, the Dubai Metro and many more such renowned projects. On this episode of Street Stories, let's hear the struggles and success of Dr. Mary Jane. I was born from a wealthy family, uh, but soon my dad got uh, bankrupt with uh, his own brother. So uh, we struggled a lot from that time. I had a very um, traumatic experience in the school when I was in the high school. My dad was in the hospital and it so happened that time, it's our final exam. I was in the fourth year. I did not know that my mom was not able to pay the tuition fee. So then this assistant principal came to the room and just like st stood up in front, in, in the door and in front of the class and told, Alvero, get out. I was so embarrassed and um, that incident or that situation up to this day, it is in my head that in this world, if there is no money, you cannot study. When Mary's father hit a horrible downfall, life was extremely difficult for them, where Mary's mother had to provide for the entire family. This boosted Mary's spirit to work hard and study so she could be the proud breadwinner for her parents. I myself is a testimony that education is very important and if you're not educated, everyone can just step on you. They can bully you. They can use you. Mary's auntie helped her pay for her university, but she didn't know that she still had no money to pay for her clothes, her food and her day-to-day -day expenses. Mary struggled a lot, but managed to find a part-time job at Philippines' biggest food group called Jolly Bee as a food service crew. In the year 1989, when I started, to become a part-time food service crew in Jollibee. My pay per day was 60 pesos only because we could only work for four hours and also per hour was 15 pesos and that is wonderham. After graduation, Mary worked in a textile company in the Philippines, after which she got the opportunity to go to Dubai, where the same company she was working for in Philippines launched their branch in the Middle East. And she started working there as a quality control supervisor. I arrived in the UAE, in, as what I've said, in 1992. And then I had a culture shock because I did not expect that I will be staying in a labor camp that's the first time I experienced that I had to fall in a queue to get food, to fall in a queue to be able to get a spot for a bathroom. It's said that in previous times in Dubai, women workers were not allowed to stay in apartments in Dubai and were only given provision to stay in labor camps. Mary soon moved to another company where she worked for six years. But soon after her promotion, she was asked to leave because it was a male-dominated company and Mary was the only woman working there. 
when I transferred to Geoscience Testing Laboratory, we were only eight. I had a boss having a wrong perception about Filipinas. He asked me immediately that how did I become an engineer where all the others are housemates. That's a sarcastic feedback from your future boss. But every day he was like taking advantage on me <clears throat> by asking me to provide him spoon, plates, glass of water, switch off the AC, switch off the light, wipe his table. That's not my job. Fine, I could do that for him once, twice, but not every day. Suddenly one day, maybe I was having a mood shift, so that time when he told me, Mary Jane, come here, give me plate and spoon because I want to have my lunch. You know what I did? I took 10 box files, I think, like this, and I carried it and threw it in front of his face. Up to this date, I've, I've been thinking, how did I do that? It was so rude of me and I feel shy. Why did I do that? Even after the hardest of downfalls with no money, job terminations, bosses who stereotyped her for her color and nationality, Mary's hard work and resilience to handle the toughest situations brought her to a path of welcoming achievements that she paved for herself. So after that incident, he called the chairman and he told the chairman to terminate me. But the chairman told him, no, you leave and let her stay. The chairman told me, uh, Mary Jane, you manage the company. Then I said, oh, no, sir, I'm an engineer. I'm not the manager. My, I uh, graduated as a chemical engineer, not, not in the management uh, field. He said, no, it's okay, only for three months, then we will give you support. But then three months over, six months, one year, already the projects came to us. From eight, we became 44, we became 72, then more than hundreds. To this date, we were, we are already crossing 600. Mary soon got married to an Emirati man, but had a lot of negative things being said about her as to how she attained the success. But we believe there's no amount of money or help that one can provide if you don't have the hunger to break barriers and strive for success, which eventually showed in her work. We were the official laboratory of the development of downtown Dubai and the Burj Khalifa Tower itself. We started there from ground zero, until the erection of this residences in which you can see this place now as the main business district of Dubai. The other prestigious landmarks and projects that we've been involved with, Palm Jumeirah, Burj Al Arab, the metros, the Expo 2020, that was a huge project for us. For me, success is whenever I accomplished something that I had planned and I achieved my objective, that is success for me. Success for me is continuous. It doesn't stop because as long as I am dreaming, as long as I am uh, having this vision, not only for me, but for the company and for the people who are working with me and the people whom we are serving. If I am able to put a smile in their face because they are satisfied and they're happy with our job, that is success for me. I know Mary Jane since uh, 1986. So we, uh, we uh, enrolled in the same university, Adamson University. She's a very hardworking woman. And I'm so happy uh, at, for what she is right now. Uh, as a, a group CEO of our company. Actually, she was the one who uh, contacted me and uh, I joined 2008 here. My career was uh, grown because of her and then uh, actually because of her also, that's why I'm in this position as a laboratory manager at Geoscience Testing Laboratory. I owe, I owe her a lot.
I start to work in geoscience ever since uh, 2001. I remember when I first came here in geoscience when I saw Madam. Actually, that time is she is still not yet the CEO. She is uh, as a technical manager. But I remember uh, when I went for interview with her, she told me that uh, normally in UAE or in Dubai they will take a golf experience. Actually, I came from the Philippines without any working experience. I'm a newly graduate, but I'm happy that she accepted me without any experience in the golf. That is the first thing that I cannot forget in regards to Madam Jane. The growth, it's uh, amazing. Okay, it's uh, it's like a, because of her vision only. Okay, she has a long vision. Okay, whatever the vision she explained to us, it's uh, we feel something challenging. But finally, when we reach to the goal, we come to know, okay, it's uh, exceptional uh, visions. So we faced many things, but uh, she was uh, supporting all the moments, okay, whenever we are having the issues, she's with us. Dr. Mary Jane is a true inspiration, not just for shattering stereotypes for the Filipino woman, but bringing out a true projection of what one can achieve if they put their mind and heart to something. These kind of struggles are not just for the light-hearted, but it shows us the kind of strength that some people can withhold. And I hope you found this video inspiring enough. Do share it with your family and friends. And of course, don't forget to follow Curly Tales Middle East. This is your girl Bianca Saurashri, signing off.